Oh my god. After the stream, I have to tell you about ideas. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> like, every time I see someone play a game, I come up with fanfic ideas. Or just a small idea in general, I don't know why. Mm -hmm. Okay, just checking what we had last time. Mm. All right, take it away. A mild draft sweeps into the room as I close the door behind him, slightly disturbing the papers on the nearby fridge. A low note flutters by my feet, the letters on the surface glaring at me with mute intensity. Armen Guard Mansion H. Wright, 11 a.m. For luxury living. After Ashton's warnings, they all hold a different meaning now. Oh, okay. October 27th, Thursday. <laughs> He's humming. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Cute. The next two days rush by in a blur, all together leaving a collective mess of words suddenly pile up and a new unexpected acquaintances or friends. Depends on how you look at it, really. Either way, I'm stuck developing these photos at 3 in the morning to reach a deadline set by an over eager art director. Okay. Huh, funny, since it's 4 a.m. here. Oh. Don't get me wrong, Julius is good, has a vision, and knows, who, and knows what he wants. But damn, he can be too enthusiastic sometimes. Oh. <laughs> Doesn't matter when you couldn't sleep anyway. Oh. Poor him. Yeah. There is nothing new in it, of course. I mean, if anybody can relate to not being able to sleep, it's us, right? <laughs> yep. I'm looking at you, Justin, because you never sleep. <laughs> After years of working as a freelance photographer, it's simply something I have grown used to get to know people, build a client base, uh, do good work and cash in some late hours if need be. Rinse and repeat. Hmm. It certainly takes a while to get some footing on the field, but it's the kind of thing that pays off in a long run. Run as long as you keep at it. Given enough time, you might end up with big names on your client list. Names like the rights, in particular. Hmm. I never did pay much attention to them, but it's virtually impossible not to hear about them when a local news channel or paper has something to say on their name. A party here, an acquisition there. Sometimes it's a new business venture. Other times is the everyday gossip that typically follows popular people like them. Uh, I just gotta check something. Hold on. That goes there. Okay, everything's fine. I'll <laughs> just double check. <laughs> Not in a million years did I ever imagine I would end up working for such a high profile couple. And between that and the fuss that comes with, it leaves me no time to ponder over whatever happened to Isabella or why Ash is so adamant we keep away from the pair. They do seem like the good folk, though, despite the whole fame thing. Hmm. Huh. Not Luke. He's a total... Ugh. Yeah. Sure. There was a rumor running around years ago about him being involved in some business scandal. But just like every gossip blown out 
of proportion by the media, nothing came of it. And eventually, it simply died down. Oh, you're right. I did not change the title. Thank you, Justin. <laughs> I'm not used to switching games. <laughs> yeah. I have no idea what number this is for the letter. Uh, and I forgot to check. Oh well. Let me... I can just check really quick. <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> um, what number am I on? Oh, I need to finish. I, I only watched like five minutes of today's uh, Nico B's video. Kiwami. This oh is... dang, I didn't watch his uh, latest videos because I was, I was so busy with the game. <laughs> now I can relax. Bye. Ah. Okay, I update it now. Good job, hey. Justin. Much is definitely left to be said for the husband, but I doubt the woman like Mrs. Wright would pick him if he doesn't have any good points at all. Hmm. Hmm. Mrs. Wright, Hannah herself though. She ain't particularly bad the way the press m makes her out to be. Yeah, I didn't like her at first, but she grew on me after I saw how she interacted with Zack. Mm-hmm. The tabloids had it all wrong, that's for sure. For someone born with a silver spoon in her mouth, well, she ain't exactly what I was expecting. Among other things, the newfound friendship is what I least expected from her. But here we are. Although with a life as public as the rights, no wonder it's the woman who often gets the crappy end of the stick. Mm, true. Mm -hmm. I can't help but feel sorry for her. She's a real nice person when given the chance. Heck, she might have even ended up friends with Rebecca and Isabel too if they weren't living worlds apart. Probably. You know, I think she is friends with uh, Rebecca. Oh yeah, she said she knew her from some... in their past. Mm hmm The beep quickly pulls me back before my thoughts travel any further. In, wa in one practice motion, I carefully place the wet print I'm holding on a drain rack and amble over my makeshift dark room to get the last photos from the water bath. Inside the converted broom closet, the film processor lets out another soft clack before going on in standby mode. That's so cool. Old-fashioned photography. Nowadays, everything's all digital. <laughs> yeah. At its mouth, a lone photograph sits on a tray, barely visible with the lack of light. Oh! Oh, I know what's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. We're gonna see a picture, because remember when he was taking pictures of her and the creepy ghost lady was, like, choking her from behind? Yep. I think she's gonna, he, he took a picture of that moment. Oh, dear. So, uh, prepare yourself, sign. Um... Uh, it's the last one to know for the set misses or right requested. I don't usually make this a habit, giving away stuff, that is. It's bad for the business, no matter how well-intentioned or generous you are. This exception this exception, however, I cannot read. 
She did treat me well and was a pleasant companion all throughout the shoot. Even if she did ask, I would I would have probably given her a few prints just for the hell of it. Mrs. Wright ain't such a bad subject matter to begin with. Hola, Smooth. Welcome to the stream. We just switched from Simulacra to the letter. Hi, Smooth. And maybe this is just me, but for someone who has everything at the palm of her hands, all the money in the world, a loving has husband and a plenty big mansion to call home, she's lonely. Yeah. She doesn't just appear like it. It shows in a tone of her voice how she moves, and most certainly in her smiles. Always hidden behind the glamour for the world to never see. Sometimes, sometimes for people like her, small things like these helps. A literal reminder that the world can be kind too. Water drips from the paper as I blindly pick it up and gently lay it on another tray holding a decent amount of photo flow. Wait, what? Photo flow? I'm sure that's like a chemical or something. Ah, I see. A few seconds under the solution is all it needs before it's ready for drying. No good rushing it's la this last one, even if my body's already screaming for some decent snooze. My hand fumbles for the light switch, moving towards it with familiarity, while I fish for a squeegee? Uh, I don't know if I... Yeah, a said... squeegee. What's a squeegee? It's like a, like, almost like a small hand mop that people use to clean windows. Ah. Among the mess of tools on a drawer with the other. The bulb flickers twice before its glow settles and casts a soft light in a tiny space. When I glance back down, squeegee in hand, ready to finish the process and finally call it a night. Oh yeah, you yeah. love scaring us, Justin. Oh. Uh, what on earth? Uh oh. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh god. That looks horrifying. I was not expecting that. I thought it would be the creepy lady behind her. Oh my god. I hope my parents didn't hear me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This kind of reminds me of Simulacra too much with the whole face thing. Uh, uh, uh. Oh my know? god, my heart. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let me... <laughs> Take deep breaths. You know Justin's gonna clip that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he will. <laughs> oh my god, this is creepy. <laughs> yeah, I don't like staring at it. Oh, okay. Her head is gone. Blur and distorted beyond recognition, rather. The area completely smudged over, leaving no trace of the same sweet smile the good woman carried all the previous prints. Damn, that was too careless. A common mistake to make, of course, if one's negligent enough to pick a newly processed photo in the dark like I did apparently. Oh, he thinks he did that. Nope. I don't believe it. I mean, the rest of it looks perfect. Mm -hmm. Except for the face. It has happened before, 
loads of time, actually. If you're in a dark alley, you're punching first and asking questions later. <laughs> nice. <laughs> but I still can't help but feel a small pang of frustration over one mistake a newbie would likely make. With a sigh, I reach up for the switch again, intending to develop a new one from scratch. It could pass off for one of those supernatural pictures they show on TV, though. Hmm. <laughs> <sighs> ah. A memory clicks. One cursory thought uh, in the sea of many, and a short yet distinct second from the day before. A glimpse is all I got, but it's enough to burn the image in my mind. Oh no. There was a shadow. No. No. Uh, I don't want to hear this. No. He didn't uh -oh. see the whole thing. No. A woman. Mm. Mm. In her 20s or early 30s, maybe? Jesus, I can't look. It's it's too... No! I can handle Simulacra better than I can handle this. Oh my god. <laughs> but with how far gone her flesh alone has become, it's not possible to tell at first glance. The skin itself has already taken a sickly pale color. Rotten in most parts, blood dripping from every open gash and lesion on her body. I think if she didn't sound like that, it wouldn't be as bad. <sighs> Bonnie hands grip Mrs. Red neck like a noose, staining the skin underneath with a Vibrant shade of scarlet. Oh my god, I cannot even read because I'm so terrified. I do. Nothing but malice fills the gleam in her eyes. Zachary? Not for me. But for Miss Wright. Zach, is something the matter? Oh, yeah, something's really wrong. Oh, oh no, no, there, there, there's nothing wrong. I, I just remembered something that's all. Uh, let's get back to the pictures. Can you move a bit more to the left, yeah? Oof. The memory alone is enough to make me a wretch. Ah, okay. I brushed it off then. A trick of the eye, I told myself. Or a product of the heat. Uh huh, sure. <laughs> Keep telling that. Yeah. The weather has been unexpectedly warm recently, so it shouldn't be too surprising for such things to happen. And while blaming this on the usual fatigue and uh, an overworked brain, the weather on an amateur error on my part is far more convenient. It makes a whole lot of sense than what the small voice inside my head whispers. The same tiny voice that only makes itself known when something's a fall. The same one that lent a Curious hero to Isabella's worries about the mansion. Oh my god, I don't like the sound at all. Yeah. And with each second I spend staring at this photograph, the murmurs in my head only grow louder against my ears. Yeah, I hate creepy spooky stuff too, but look what I'm playing. <laughs> Yeah, because October. Yeah. Halloween. Someone has to know. Ooh. 
Save. Save the game. Yeah. Do we show the photo to Hannah or do we show it to Ash? Hmm. I don't know. I don't. I think like Ash is just gonna write it off as, oh, you just screwed up, you know? I yeah. don't think he's gonna believe it. I don't know if Hannah will believe it. Well, after what she just went through, remember? Yeah. I feel I like she'll believe us over him. Yeah. I think we should show it to her. Mm-hmm. I don't have an explanation for what I saw yesterday. Yet. Oh, this is still in the past, though? Hmm. Well, I still feel like it'd be better if he showed it to her, considering it has to do with her. But when you've been there, seen something enough to raise the hairs at the back of your neck, or leave you wanting to flee or hide? Finding a more solid proof than a person's much of face of a photo is the least of my concerns. Ashton will, will undoubtedly give me flag for saying that or even considering Isabella's word and those silly tales about the place. Quote unquote. Mm -hmm. The guy is a skeptic through and through. Yeah, that's why I didn't want to show it to him. It'll take more than I, I can for him to even give uh, this a single thought. However, more than his opinion is Mrs. Wright I'm concerned about. Surely, she must have felt something if those shows on TV are to be believed. Mm -hmm. A touch of coldness in her neck, or maybe the feeling of being watched? That's what often happens, ain't it? Outside, the sun has yet to rise. I've still got, I've still got a few hours before dawn. Good enough time to mull over how I'll go about warning her. Plenty of space to check if I'll get the same result if I redo the process again. Hey, Hannah, I know we just met, but look at this creepy picture of you that I definitely didn't mess with. Hope we can be friends. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> The film processor hums back to life at, m at my touch. The light switch gi uh, gives out a soft click and darkness embraces the small closet again. Somehow those urban legends don't sound so silly now. In, hi in hindsight, this is a dumb idea. Ugh, I always hate the sound effects when we're outside the house. Mm -hmm. So creepy. Yeah. That is to say, for rushing to a client I barely know home first thing in the morning with knows of a ghost lady potentially haunting their newly bought property. Oh, and there's a bunch of bizarre looking pictures of Miss Hannah I've brought as proof too. So yeah, the best idea in a history of my dumb ideas, all things considered. <laughs> Traveling uh, to the outskirts of Anselm village at the crack of dawn with only my bike as company, equally so. Personally, I don't think any of them will take whatever I'm going to say well, no matter how nice or accommodating they are. Ashton himself will tell me the same thing. All Tsar, he'll laugh at it in my face for good measure. If he doesn't freak out at me first for not listening to his warnings. Okay, that kind of scared me. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting it. 
here, that's a whole separate can of worms. I'll open at different times, seeing as I'm already standing at the right front porch. Porch. Waiting for someone to answer the door. More than anything, Mrs. Ray needs to know that possibly nothing saving in this place. Warnings from friends be damned. If only someone would answer the door sooner. Come on. I try to ignore the looming presence their large journey doors give off as I press the doorbell for the first time. Huh, what happened to their butler? Hmm. Its shrill ringing merely echoes, carried off by another warm passing breeze. The first time I came to this place, I found myself basking in the silence it offers. Now the atmosphere is just heavy, back with trepidation and tension. Ding dong ditch. <laughs> that kind of defeats the purpose, Justin. You're so glad you get to watch the stream today? Well, I'm glad you could make it. Isabella's right. It does radiate the creepy kind of vibe. And with the image from the day before constantly flashing my mind, the unease becomes harder to ignore as each second drifts by. Hmm. I'm worried. Yeah, me too. Not wanting to spend more time here than necessary, I ring the bell again. Another long second ticks by without anyone answering the door. If it fails, I can always go to Ash. Not re uh, really the most sensible course of action either, but waiting here ain't doing me any good. I'm gonna be so freaked out and angry if the door opens on its own and it's the ghost sending him in, you know? Yeah. Ooh, that <laughs> yeah. would be bad. You would definitely have your butler answer the door at a time like this. <laughs> Go ahead and get a butler then, Smooth. More than one. <laughs> for, our, for all I know, the rest could be out of town. As luck would have it, just as I'm about to turn on my heel, a loud thumb rises from the other side. Mm. Oh. It's followed by heavy footfalls and string of very colorful ex expletives. What? Uh, swear um, words. Ah. Expletives about one's parentage. Uh oh. Here we have that bloody annoying doorbell replaced yesterday. That I have charges cost me a fortune and she can't even fix this new thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and where the hell is. Your eyes, if another pro-face is pressing that blighted bell, I swear I'll cut that. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Look who is this. Mm, the last person I want to see. I'd yep. actually rather see the ghost lady than him. <laughs> <laughs> the door swings open and a very irritating Mr. Wright greets me. His partly rumpled appearance, a clear testament to how early the hour is. Oop, sorry. Whips Luke? Yeah, keep whipping him. <laughs> and who might you be? I don't recall asking the movers to show up this early. I was prepared to face uh, Mrs. Wright, their butler, more so. But Mr. Wright, I don't quite know what to make of him yet. He surely knows how to make an impression. I'll give him that. I'll bet a rude one. I only caught sight of him yesterday as he is directing the movers. Although from how exasperated he sounded then, it seems like more really was done than actual giving of directions. Needless to say, I like to believe those instances ain't all there is to the guy. 
Mrs. Wright, at the end of the day, did marry him. Ah, he's such a good guy, trying to think good of someone like him, you know? Yep. Uh, Smooth, this is the racist pig that we can't stand. Yeah. And we're working on getting his wife to leave him. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna happen. Because I ship her with our cinnamon roll that we're playing as right now. Standing before him like now, though, is a different story altogether. Despite the difference in our respective heights, he, manage he manages to make it appear like he is the one looking down at me, not the other way around. Hmm. <laughs> That's true, Justin did try timing out and banning Luke, but uh, he's still here. <laughs> An apology instinctively forcing my mouth before anything else when he arches an eyebrow at my lack of response. Well, um, that's not exactly why I'm here, uh, Mr. Wright, yeah? Right, of course, the one and only. Oh, he has money. He's too powerful. He was able to buy his way back into our our, our chat and our game. <laughs> <laughs> and what can I do for you this fine morning? He Have I seen Twitch. you somewhere before? Yep. <laughs> Bloody you peasants all look the same to me. Wow. I... Yeah, I'm actually... It doesn't matter. I don't care. I've got someplace important to be at today. Just spit Rude. out what you want or be gone! I haven't got all day! <sighs> Again, rude. Yep. His eyes are sharp and expecting in spite of this, of his indifferent tone. I think he's too rich to have manners, apparently. Yeah. The very impression of someone whose sharp wits has served him well throughout life. The kind you have to carefully choose your words around. This concerning... Uh, no, this concerning how a simple conversation can easily seem like a ruthless form of social maneuvering. I can see why Mrs. Wright would, would want to steer clear of it, if only for a short while. Oh my god, Coco. Screw the rules! AKA decency. I have money! <laughs> oh, I love that quote. Ever since uh, they used it in Yakuza, and that was the best. <laughs> <laughs> you buy back into everything, especially the Boriquin family. They ask for a steep price. Well, Justin, <laughs> if you would stop trying to scare me and sign, then you wouldn't have to do that. <laughs> Now you know you're going to go into detention if you do that again. Yeah. <laughs> and sometimes the only way out of the game is to be honest. Okay, let's save. Uh, I'm a friend of Hana. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, sir. I, I was just... I mean, it's true. Why would I bother saying... Oh, she liked that. Why would I bother using the photographer excuse? Yeah. You see, I I'm a friend of Hana and... A friend of Hana! <laughs> oh, look at that reaction. <laughs> Are you trying to say she's not allowed to have friends? Screw you, dude. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, he's racist, smooth. He's said a few things before. His eyebrows shoot into his hairline at my answer. <laughs> oh, he's laughing. <laughs> Although he swiftly disappears under his dismissive gesture and a chuckle at his heels. A small frown spreads across my face before I can stop myself. What I said has nothing remotely funny in it. Yet here he is, hugging an arm closer to himself in a weak attempt to keep his shoulders from shaking. Did I mispronounce something uh, wrong? Or... 
No, no, not at all. You didn't. She, my wife, has never mentioned a friend like you. <laughs> That's all. Ooh, like you? Oh, hell no. Luke, you are lucky I cannot bitch slap you, because I would if I could. <laughs> No, you mm, I suppose it's a good thing she's venturing out of the him. usual. In the <laughs> face. and savages, all of them yep. hiding under sheep's clothing. Yeah, he deserves a punch and a kick and a stab. <laughs> and a whip. Oh, yeah. I, I don't really get it, sir, but it's not really surprising she wouldn't talk about me. We just met yesterday during the shoot. As soon as the statement is out, the amicable air melts away almost palpably. His eyebrows crease in a, to, to a frown, and his posture stiffens. With how fast the atmosphere around us changes in merely the span of a few spoken words, I'm not sure. I'm not quite sure what I can and can't say anymore. Hmm. Like handling a ticking time bomb. Is this why Ashton wants us to stay away from them? If so, a part of me regrets not listening to him now. Shoot. Who are you again? Hmm. Zachary Steele, sir. I was here yesterday from the magazine feature about your home. Ah, that Zachary, the photographer. I remember now. Just when you think she'd be careful meddling around media types these days, she makes friends with one. Hmm. Mm. It was really just small chit chat, sir. The usual. Uh, to keep things entertaining. The shoot did take the whole afternoon to finish. Oh, I'm sure she was pleasantly entertained. She wouldn't be making friends with media types if she wasn't. So bitter and angry. No matter. She's her own woman. She can do what she wants so long as she doesn't do anything to ruin herself. I'm sure Miss Wright is aware of that, sir. <laughs> that she is. But we aren't here to talk about her, are we? What is this about today? The city is a long way from here. <laughs> On push bike, no less. I... Yeah, I was actually hoping to talk to her. Of course. Here for another headline, perhaps. Not exactly, sir. Uh, I'm off work. He wears... Uh, I was gonna say, <laughs> he's trying to woo her. <laughs> this conversation went different when you went through it? Really? Uh, just out of curiosity, did you try to romance her with Zack? Or were you uh, pushing more for um, her and Marianne? Because if you did more her and Marianne, then maybe that's why. This is for something else. <laughs> that's what they always say. The next thing you know, your face is in the front page of every conceivable scandal sheet going all the way to the ass end of Plymouth. <laughs> you media types have such an insatiable taste for gossip. It's almost amazing. There won't be any of that in an interior design magazine, sir. I can assure you that one. <laughs> oh, you never know. Well-trained hounds have an uncanny way of sniffing out things no matter where you keep them. Rude. Oh, you're pushing for the harem ending? Bruh, if we could get that, that'd be awesome. Yeah. But uh, unfortunately, that is not the case. Boo. I do admire the passion, though. It takes a lot of energy for someone to leave bed this early, let alone knock at someone else's door at this hour. That aside, unfortunately, you're going to have to come back some other day. You see, uh -oh. darling wife left not a moment to go. I have not an inkling where she went or when she'll be back, so you're better off. Wait, uh, I can't recall what I was aiming for when I played this. The first one we went to, Ash. But I guess that's true, since I picked different options for my first time and we did a lot of positive stuff with Hana, because most of it is just being nice. 
Is there a harem ending in this game? I don't think so, unfortunately. First time I we wish... did go more for Marianne. Yeah, I thought so. And Discord is sacking up, apparently. Oh, it is? It was. It did. Oh, at least it wasn't at a part where you had to talk. <laughs> yeah. Love, is it the movers? Oh, there she is. Yay! <laughs> so it didn't go well with Marianne and Hana. Oh, I'm sorry, Coco. I'm sure you were disappointed. He stopped speaking altogether, and a complacent expression he has collapsing on himself. He's like, oh shoot, she's here. <laughs> Slowly, he turns just as his wife walks out up to him with a step too lively for comfort, a smile too sweet, to be honest. She is very likely heard everything her husband and I have talked about. Ah, she was listening. He got caught red-handed. You're yeah. going off somewhere. I've got the few things I want them to transfer already. Marianne made this splendid arrangement for the music room and... Love, are you listening? I thought you already left, Buttercup. <laughs> <laughs> she mothers. She muscles a frown, a pot, more like. <laughs> the mischievous gleam in her eyes when she glances at me says, All there is I need to know. <laughs> I wouldn't laugh at her antics if it wouldn't offend the other man. But at it is. It's better to let his wife have her fun without any reaction from me. What? What's wrong with her outfit? It's a dress. She can't help it if her boobs are big, dude. <laughs> it's not like they're being super showy. <laughs> I'm, treading, I'm treading on dangerous grounds with him already. Well, I most certainly have not left yet. I wouldn't be standing here if I did, would I? <laughs> of course you wouldn't be, darling. But don't you need to be somewhere else today? Something... something with Marianne? Shopping girl... things? <laughs> wow. Oh, I'll be leaving in a few. Unless you want to join us. Oh, no thanks, darling. I'm afraid my liver is killing me today. More like you're killing your liver with all that drinking. Yeah. <laughs> I oh, as much. I wanted to say that. <laughs> you needn't have to worry. I'll be gone in a few. It's just that I heard we have a visitor. What kind of person would I be if I didn't greet him before leaving? A very gracious one, I'm sure. <laughs> Zachary, right? Zach? It's a pleasure to see you again. Likewise, ma'am. I was actually looking for you. Is that so? What for? A huge display of unprofessionalism is what it's for. Shush, darling. Let the man speak. I'm <laughs> sure it isn't anything like that if he has to come all the way here, yes? Oh, I just remembered. So Coco was right that this is in the past, so... Ugh, it's so confusing with all this jumping around. So we are here on the 27th. And the party was the 28th. Yeah. And that's when uh, she had that little dance with him after she found out her husband got that girl pregnant. Ah. Okay. Well, he says that he didn't, but, um, mm. who yeah. knows? <laughs> Don't believe him. I mean, the woman was drunk. When she's pregnant, yeah, that was horrible. It's about yesterday. The photos you asked, I mean. Wait, Justin says he's Mr. Steal Your Girl, that's why he's here? <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, smooth. You should see the connection Zach and her have. It's so adorable. They're cute. I ship it really hard. <laughs> the copies are ready, but... My hand still as I'm about to fish the prints out of my pocket. A short second passes that which strikes me how I didn't think this through at all. How I go about telling her regarding the strange photos for revealing this to her in the presence of another person. Her husband gazing over us like a hawk doesn't provide any sort of comfort either. And just like that, all the words I have been practicing to say on the way here inevitably fell all stiffly off my mouth. Ah, what a shame. Mrs. Wright must have noticed my hesitance because shortly she gives her husband's arm a gentle squeeze and then her smile grazing her face. Unlike the first, this one is meant to appease. Love, I think Hansi might need some of your input for the final guest list. Could you check on him, please? Bollocks! Why in all Luxborn do I have to be there? Doing tedious jobs are what he's being paid for. <laughs> <laughs> I may hate him, but he cracks me up sometimes. <laughs> Just, yeah. just the way he talks. Because if we end up with people whose faces you do not want to show up in our housewarming party, we won't be hearing the end of it. Unless a heavy dose of liquor is involved. You know what the doctor said about that. Please do poor Hansi and your liver a favor, hmm? <laughs> he can handle that on his own, Buttercup. And my liver is doing just fine. No, it's not. You just said your liver wasn't doing fine. <laughs> Objection! There's a contradiction! <laughs> Good, you beat me to it. <laughs> I'm sure it is. But I don't know, love. I think I caught a glimpse of the name Mitch Lakes, was it? I think it was Mitch Lakes on it when I checked with Hansi earlier. You should see for yourself. It was quite a list. Who put that blighted twat in there? <laughs> So he knows just what to say to trigger him. <laughs> and that's why I'm asking you to look over it before I do so tonight. Your liver's doing fine too? That's good, Smooth. Right, their distant, distant, distant cousin who Luke doesn't like talking about because he's poor. <laughs> he's like, ugh, that guy with the spiky hair. <laughs> <sighs> Very well. But even with a promise, he doesn't appear ready to leave. Short of passing through the, their doors, he stops and glances back at me, all without bothering to hide the distress in his eyes. He knows we're gonna steal his wife. <laughs> <laughs> Luke, dear, I'll be fine. Go back to your butler. Luke's suit used to be blue and his tie red. Yeah, you did mention that. That's so cool. I'm not some pregnant wife you have to worry about. Ooh, pregnant. Ooh. That does, that's a stab. That's interesting, because she doesn't even know yet. <laughs> fine, fine. I have to go to that little ankle biter's career day later anyway. Ankle biter? I don't see why I have to go there. Kylie's your goddaughter. And yet, she has you around her little fingers, darling. That's basically the same thing. Kylie, mm -hmm. huh? If he ever has an answer to that, we don't get to hear it above the heavy thought the door makes. And Mrs. Wright's own worry exhale after she's sure her husband is out of earshot. She's nothing but apologetic when she fixes her gaze back to me, and I can't help but return the same to her. I am so sorry you had to deal with that. My husband can be a bit trying when he really applied himself. It's fine, Miss Wright. No harm done. It, oh, it was my blushing. fault for showing up here unannounced. Cute. Cute. And this might be strange coming from me, 
But he does have the right to be wary. The press can be quite vicious when it wants to be. Quite unexpectedly, they'll pick you apart. It's not surprising why he acted the way he did around me. Sweetie, if Luke treats every journalist who shows up here like that, I'm afraid we'll end up with a harassment lawsuit hanging over our heads sometime in the future. Vicious or not, some sort of finesse has to be exercised when dealing with them. I'm sorry, I hope that wasn't too offensive. Not at all, Miss Wright. Besides, I don't think an interior design magazine would be interested in who harassed who this week. Unless it has something to do with fighting over tastefully arranged furniture. <laughs> but even then, I don't think our readers would be too interested. Oh, dearie. You've got a lot to learn. <laughs> you really have no idea how a single tattle can ignite a spark in a crowd. Of course, at the end of the day, it's still the thought that counts. It's still a lovely anniversary gift for my husband. No matter. Let's just go. She doesn't wait for an answer and immediately wanders over a car parked some distance from us. Unsure, I find myself trailing after her. Hmm. The chauffeur automatically opens the passenger side door as she nears, and she gestures to me to follow when she climbs into the back seat. Why is she taking him with her? To... Where are we going exactly? Hmm? Is she kidnapping him? Kinda. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think he wouldn't mind too much considering. <laughs> I need to get out of this stuffy house for a while. Moving in, planning the party. It's starting to get suffocating in there. Luke and Hansi can have their fun while I'm gone. I don't care. I'm getting out because I can. Another minute in there and I'll drown. My bike. Hmm? Oh, all he said was my bike. There are, of course, a lot of things questionable about her invitation. Why is she asking a person she has only known for less than two days in the first place is one. How appropriate it is been another. But the rest of it crashes the moment she shoots me an imploring look. Please? I can have someone send it back to your address later. And it's just a trip to the city for some furniture. Nothing more, I assure you. Hmm. Uh, Marianne will be with us, he... and maybe you can tell me why you're here on the way. What? What about his bike? Oh, yeah, his, his bike. bike. Uh, guess it wouldn't hurt. I might have to leave early, though. Excellent, then. Hop in. That's what they often say, yes? <laughs> This can't be a good idea, but I really don't have any other choice, do I? Especially with the way her eyes light up when I agree to it. In my pocket, the very picture of her remains faceless. Yeah, he didn't get to show it to her yet. A voiceless shadow hang hanging threateningly between us, unknown to her. Now, Stein, are you uh, still good to go, or you want to stop? Uh, do you want to read? I mean to take over? Oh, I didn't mean to take over, I just meant to end the stream. Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it's 5am and uh, I don't think I... Uh... I mean, I could keep going for a little bit, but I could take over uh, the reading if you want to just take a break. Yeah, you can take over. Okay. Uh, we can go another 20, 20 or 30 minutes and then we'll stop. How about that? Sounds good. 
All right, just let me know. If, if you're too sleepy, we can just end it, you know? Okay. <laughs> okay. If someone told me I'd be spending my entire morning being dragged around half of downtown Luxbourne looking for furniture, I probably would have simply smiled at them. Then perhaps even given them a good friendly pat on the shoulder and wish them a nice day. Not that I find anything wrong with this at all. On the contrary, this is most definitely a nice change of pace after weeks of getting bogged down by several freelance gigs and shutting myself inside my apartment whenever I can. If only the weather would be a whole lot nicer. The kind with less sun and more clouds, perhaps. With the mid-morning sun slowly beating down on us as high noon approaches, I can see why Mr. Wright skipped out on this trip. The bright side is, the whole thing seems to have put Miss Wright in a less somber mood. After the fifth store, wow, her <laughs> pace is considerably livelier, her gestures less guarded than the one she displayed at the mansion earlier. The presence of another person might have helped as well. Hello, Marianne. Long time no see. Yep. Although Miss McCullough seems less predisposed to small talk, preferring to keep to herself most of the time and let Miss Wright lead us wherever. She did acknowledge me with a small nod when we were introduced earlier. But that didn't make standing outside the store together any less awkward while we wait for our client to finish her inquiry inside. So, um, interior design, huh? I mean, their jobs are kind of go hand in hand. She's the interior designer, and he's the photographer of interior design. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she casts me a sidelong glance before returning to her notes again, her pen scratching faintly against the paper in quick successive strokes. Ah, there goes that. I did say I'm not good at starting or keeping conversations going, didn't I? <laughs> she doesn't look back up again, and I take that as my cue to stop any attempt of striking a dialogue with her and keep myself occupied with some other thing. Well, she's kind of rude for not responding. <laughs> <laughs> Except what we have here, it's just Luxborn and it's busy streets. People going about their day like normal, Cars moving in and out of sight, heading to who knows where. She's kind of pretty? Yeah, she is. Nothing remarkable, really. The ease with which a person can fade into the background here is reflective of the kind of city looks for and will always be, but the humdrum's one thing I learned to live with. Needless to say, it doesn't usually stay that way. There are times when it would come alive, make itself known, and reassert itself back to the world. However, those moments are few and far in between. Then again, with what graces the news channels lately, I'm starting to think it's going to happen sooner. Can't say I'm looking forward to what it'll bring. Luxury living, is it? Her voice effectively cuts through my thoughts, just as I count the 13th passerby wearing a hat today. Now you want to talk to me? <laughs> <laughs> Beside me, I can hear the faint rustling of paper and the clicking of her pen as she stashes them back to her bag. I excuse me, what? The magazine you're working for. It's luxury living, isn't it? Oh, oh yeah. You've been featured by them before, I take it? A few years back, yes. For just some issues. My designs still appear from time to time, though. Not as frequent as before. Gotta have room for new talents, right? It may not show in her face, but the pride is evident in her voice. Good folks, the people running the publication. Tell me, is DK still on the editorial team? I wouldn't know. I've only started taking jobs from them this year. Freelancer, you know. DK? You mean Donkey Kong? <laughs> Just imagine him working at an interior design place. <laughs> oh, yeah, yes. All, all the Nintendo characters. Yeah, Peach, Mario, Bowser. <laughs> Margaret, you've changed. Yeah, she does sound a little different from when she was doing Margaret in Lake of Voices. I really liked that game. I kind of want to play it again. <laughs> 
Not for stream necessarily, but just to see what happens with the redhead guy. Yeah. Good man, that guy. Anyone in our field should meet him. He had a lot of things to say about art, all of them relevant. Learned a lot from him, actually, even if we both came from two different fields. I hope he's in a good place. I haven't talked to him in a while. Anyway, your portfolio must have been good if they gave you the job. They don't easily assign big features to freelancers like this. <laughs> I, I wouldn't say I am, but experience, you know? The more you practice it, the more you learn the tricks of the trade. That kind of stuff. Oh, okay, go ahead, Smooth. Enjoy your dinner. I, I forgot what time it is for you there, but I know it's earlier for you. Thanks for coming out. I know what you mean. Still, you've got to keep up with the competition. Each year, a new talent emerges, and, well, you never know. Clients can be a bit fickle-minded with their choices. Believe me. Speaking of, do you think you'd be up for a new client after this? I uh, think so. It depends on how big the project is. Oh, good. He can get a job. Good for him. I mean, mm -hmm. another job, you know. Yeah. She reaches into her bag again. Oh, okay. We got her information now. This time, to pull out a business card, which she hands over to me. When you're free, send your portfolio to Chris. He's my assistant. He's been looking for a decent photographer to help with updating the studio's portfolio. Nothing urgent, but the sooner the better. Hmm, oh, good. Not sure if I'll have the time to squeeze this in, but all right, I'll give it a go once. Marianne, could you look this over for me? <laughs> At that very moment, Miss Wright emerges from the store. When I look back to Miss McCullough, a mask of professionalism has returned to her. Or at least that is what it is trying to be. There's a different light in her eyes as she faces her. A flicker of familiarity and recognition. Ooh, she already likes her? Um, <laughs> hmm. I know that's a possibility, but uh, I was kind of shipping her with Zack, so sorry, Marianne. Sorry. Wait, why we can't have a threesome? I know, right? Why can't you just share? <laughs> Sharing is caring. We'll have two threesomes. Like Hannah with Zach and Marianne, and Isabella with Ash and Rebecca. How yes. about that? Yes, I agree. Why is this coming a, a theme for our streams? But OT3! OT3! <laughs> That's what we were doing during Lake of Voices, and now here we are again. <laughs> OT3, yes, good. Coco agrees with us. Yes, I'm glad you agree with me. <laughs> I'd say it's fondness, but that would be too presumptuous. Whatever it is doesn't last and is briskly swept under the firm tone her voice assumes. I just gotta know. I'm so curious, Coco. Are there fanfiction for this game? If there are, I can make one. <laughs> do it, Co do it up. <laughs> I almost said Coco. Uh, do it, sign to it. I'll try. If I'm not busy with something. <laughs> there is fanfiction? <gasps> Yay! You haven't read any yet, though. Okay, okay. I know I gotta wait until I finish the game. It probably spoils stuff. There are Ace Attorney crossovers? Awesome. Yay! Because of the name Wright, I assume. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whatever it is doesn't last and is briskly swept under the firm tone her voice assumes. Definitely. Is there a problem? They said they don't have the colors you suggested. Do you think we can change it around for a bit? It might take a while if we insist what we want, and you know I'd rather not worry about this later. I think it'd be better if I handle this one myself. Yes, let your designer take over. Excuse me. She walks into the shop without another word, leaving the two of us standing outside. <laughs> as soon as she's out of earshot, however, Miss Wright lets out a giggle and swipes the the business card cleanly off my hand. Oh. She smiles. 
a bemused little thing spreading across her face and waves the card in front of me. I wish she'll do that more often, the smiling thing. It suits her more than the other one she frequently shows to the media. I look away and the next thing I know you're picking up women. Oh. <laughs> On the streets, while the sun is high no less. I'm not sure if I should be appalled or amazed. Excuse you. <laughs> I only have eyes for you right now. How dare you? <laughs> He's just trying to, you know, get some work. Whatever happened to the Zack I met a day ago? About as tall as you. Photographer. Quite the gentleman. Ooh, she's jealous. To tell you the truth, I'm a bit disappointed he's gone. It ain't like them, Miss Wright. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure Miss McCullough is not the kind of woman to let herself be picked up by strangers. Let alone people she barely knows. Look at that smirk. Yeah. Oh, shush. Let me have my fun. <laughs> and didn't I say you can call me Hana? This right after you introduced yourself as my friend in front of my husband. Oh, yeah, she heard that. <laughs> I do believe this isn't how friends address each other. Too formal, don't you think? She gives the card back to me, nevertheless, and with it, her mood fades into a more pensive one. An odd look settles on her face, yearning, a bit wistful, as she looks back towards the shop's display window. There's nothing remotely interesting in it for me when I follow her line of sight, though. A few trinkets here and there, a fur rug, a sofa, a wooden side table, and a lamp, all tastefully picked and arranged to resemble a typical antique living room. On second thought, it does look comfortable. But why they added a crib beside it baffles me. Ah, she's looking at the crib. Unless, of course, the people they're hoping to market to are those who already have children, or are about to have one, then maybe it is fitting. Peculiar choice of decorations aside, it does make for a nice icebreaker, if it's on not on the same level of weird and completely out of the blue. It still leagues better than the awkward silence, which is definitely too out of character for a personality like Miss Wright, Hana's. <laughs> How should I start the conversation? Do you think a crib would make a good gift? I think that one looks cute. Mm. Save. 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 That's interesting. Yeah. Uh, um. which one do you think? Uh, honestly, I don't know. Hmm. I think I want to say like, the cute one. Like, like who's like we mentions you would make a good gift. A good gift for who? Yeah, that's weird. So we'll say the bottom one then, right? Yeah. Ooh, I think that one looks cute. Let's see. It. Ooh, that worked. She liked that. Yay. Hana bulks. Oh, she's blushing. To my surprise, <laughs> shuffling two steps away from the window and glares at it with such vehemence as if it did something remotely scandalous. I think she uh, might have liked that because she's like, oh, he's a family guy. He likes cribs and kids and babies, you know? A funny sight when taken out of context, and I probably will be laughing, really if I understand what warranted such reaction from her. I, I wasn't looking at the crib. Yes, you were, <laughs> Sundere. I wasn't really talking about the crib, Hana. <laughs> Very good, then. <laughs> but it wasn't the crib, all right. All right, I get you. But that's not it. Honest. I was just saying the stuff that was on display there looks nice. Or at least as nice as it can be compared to the ones we visited earlier. But, 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 but I'm, I'm sure your interior designer has something different in mind for your mansion, so don't mind me. <laughs> I was hoping that would be enough to cut the topic short. Instead, she sighs, leans on the wall closest to her, and runs her hands through a lock of her hair. 
There is a far-flung look in her eyes, even as she fixes it on the concrete curb. Oh, you need to stop looking at people like that, sweetie. Hmm? I I'm afraid I don't quite catch a drift, ma'am. I suppose you wouldn't be aware of it. Hmm, you wouldn't be aware that you're making her feel things. <laughs> Family Guy wears Stewie. It's not like I want a child or anything, Baka. Wait. <laughs> Do you know you always carry this... this kind of face? What kind of face? He has a face. He can't help it. Like you're always staring at the world with this honest look. Like all there is to see is all the good in it. Frankly, I don't see anything wrong if it's like that. I mean, there always has to be something in it. You know, a sprinkle of kindness here and there. Oh, because he's cinnamon roll. Yep. Otherwise, we'd all be miserable. For you, maybe. Some people have to fight through it just to see that. And kindness isn't always a great thing to have around. Sometimes too much of it can hurt. It makes you wonder where this is coming from. How bad things have really gone for her to have this view. I do understand her sentiment. Really, I do. Still, when it's the last thing you can cling to when things have gone irreversibly bad, sometimes you simply don't get to make a choice. Besides, the point is, it's impossible to lie when a person is looking at you like that. <laughs> Justin, please. <laughs> <laughs> or I could, but I'd feel like a horrible person afterwards. Did you hear that, Mr. Zack? You just made me feel like a horrible person. I sort of wish I have one like it. Just so people would stop lying to my face. Aww. Or you can start by being honest with yourself. It shouldn't be quite hard. Friends don't lie to each other, don't they? I guess so. So what was the lie? She draws in a breath, lays a soothing hand to her stomach, and... Ooh, is she pregnant? That it was really the crib I was looking at earlier, silly! You're right, Uncle Zack. It's cute, but the pattern's not to my taste. I'm pretty sure Marianne could do something about that, though. At the moment, what I should really be worried about is if I'm ever going to be a good mother to this child. Oh. She said to this oh. child. She is pregnant? Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. No, I wanted to save her from Luke. Oh, no. The fact she's pregnant. Oh, God. She didn't show any signs of it until now, though. Wow. Oh, and she's got this creepy ghost lady after her. Oh, I'm so worried now. Oh, darn it. Why'd you have to be pregnant now with Luke's baby? You're supposed to have our cinnamon rolls baby. No. So mad. Mad? I can't even tell the father he's going to be one in a few months' time! Oh, shoot. Probably doesn't even want anything to do with this whole pregnancy thing. Mm. What am I going to do, Zack? Because right now, I'm absolutely at a loss. Oh. <laughs> His response. <laughs> I think he's a little disappointed because she's pregnant. I don't blame him. I'm sad. A beat. Oh! <laughs> the lead reaction much. <laughs> the realization strikes me like a ton of bricks suddenly bearing down on me. <laughs> More than astonishment must have shown in my face because Hana lets out a chuckle. The slump on her shoulders disappears altogether underneath her mirth. Don't look so surprised, dearie. <laughs> Tied the knot seven years ago, remember? Don't you think it's bound to happen? <laughs> she brandishes her hand in front of me, the unassuming silver band on her finger glinting against the late morning sunlight for a second. My only sunshine. That's actually pretty cute. Too bad it's from Luke. She eyes it lovingly, almost tenderly, despite the trace of sadness in her voice. For all I know, there is an entire story there, 
I'd ask, but that would be too inappropriate, even for friends. It's not my place to meddle, to begin with. Or at least that's what they've been saying early on. My whole social circle would be saying it's a long time coming. But the kid is something you want, right? Because if it ain't, then that's a whole other problem. Of course! I wouldn't deny I've been hoping to have him or her for a long time now. But then, now that we're here, all of a sudden, there are a whole lot of other things to be worried about. Business, a new home, public image, my own husband, and I don't know. I didn't really have anyone for a role model. I practically grew up with nursemaids pampering me every step of the way. What if it happens to this baby as well? <laughs> what are you doing spilling pregnant like that, you two? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I can already see how this will end. Huh. I guess it's not just my sister. What? You and my sister. I mean, you're, you're both having jitters or something like that. Oh, his sister's having a baby too? That's what it's called, right? First baby jitters? Mind you, she was really convinced she'd do everything wrong then. He even called me in the middle of the night. Has to switch places the day she found out she's carrying a new member of the family. <laughs> Never mind how utterly impossible her request is. I'm quite sure I haven't done anything of that sort yet. Aw, so he's an uncle. Uncle Zach. Oh, you don't know that. My brother-in-law has been telling me things five weeks into my sister's pregnancy. Since she's one cranky pregnant lady. <laughs> Man, good thing I found a place for myself years before that bundle of joy arrived, huh? It can't be that awful. Who knows? I think we'd better leave it for Mr. Wright to decide, yeah? Provided he comes around. Mm. He just sounds so... so repulsed every time the idea is brought up. Ugh, and now he might have gotten another woman pregnant. Ugh, this sucks. Then maybe you should say it to his face. No mincing of words or beating around the bushes. And if he says no? You haven't even told him yet. Besides, that's his kid. Don't people usually say fatherhood changes men? Hmm, not all men. I wouldn't call myself a living testament, of course. But there ought to be something that will hit him in that idea alone. <sighs> a wrecking ball would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> Laughter escapes me before I can stop it. And for a moment, I thought I have done something wrong when she doesn't join in. He's still her husband, no matter what jests or complaints she hurls about him behind the media's eyes or in the presence of people she trusts. <laughs> but when she does, her chuckle, a small hesitant sound at first, I find the rest of my unease slipping away. Well, whatever it is, my point is, you've got no idea what will happen. In the same way, you don't know if you'll be a good mom. Trust me, my sister's been there. It's perfectly normal. If, uh, my opinion matters, though? A long second of indecision goes by. I can feel her eyes, filled with nothing but curiosity, boring into me while she waits for the rest. It's just a simple sentiment, but one thing I think she needs to hear for all the doubts she unwittingly places on herself. I'm just not sure if it should come from me. Ah, I'll be damned. I think... I think you'll be a great mother, Hana. Aww. Zach. If she has an answer to that, I don't get to hear it, nor does she get to say it. As soon as it's out of my mouth, the bell hanging over the antique store's door chimes, and out comes Miss McCullough. For more than one reason, I've never been so relieved our talk got interrupted. Everything's been taken care of for tomorrow, Mrs. Wright. We'll have everything you requested delivered early. I've left them instructions, but I may have to visit again right before your housewarming party to check for a few things. I hope that's acceptable to you. More than Marianne. This is a little early to say, but you did marvelous work with the mansion. I can't wait to see all of it come together tomorrow. I'm only doing my job, ma'am. Needless to say, it's always a pleasure to hear a client is satisfied with my work. Nonsense! You have every reason to be proud. I know you've already established your name here, 
But I'll still make sure word gets out, of course. I think I've got a few friends who might be interested in decorating their homes. I'll see if I can introduce you to them tomorrow. Oh, that's nice. You banged your knee on your desk? Ouch. I really don't want to impose, Mrs. Wright. There's still a lot to be done, and I'd rather be keeping an eye on it myself. You know well enough I'll still do it. You too, Monsieur Le Photographe. You better be the one taking the pictures for the event tomorrow, or I'll be very upset. I blink at her, confused. Last I checked, I have nothing scheduled on my plate tomorrow. A couple of fleeting thoughts did cross my mind, like working on personal projects, but with the expectant expression on Hana's face alone. I've wondered before how they got Isabella to sell them the mansion, with all the paperwork and the loops it has to go through. Well, now the how is already standing in front of me, and it's one giant ball of persuasion in human form. If I have any doubts how she got around life, all of them have been dispelled right this instant. Anna hasn't said anything yet, but I already know what my answer will be. What event? A housewarming party, dearie. I've already sent invites through your publisher. They should have informed you of it by now. I may have probably missed it. I haven't gotten the chance to check my mailbox yet. If deadlines, real life happenings, you know, they can be pretty hectic. I'll try later, but... They might have already assigned it to a different photographer if they haven't received my reply yet. That's not a problem. Nothing a little call from me can't fix. I'll have them know I'm specifically requesting for your presence. It shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> Just promise me you'll show up. I expect to see you both there. No excuses. Good company, good music, good food. Of course I'll be there. Lovely. I hope we have that settled then. I'd love to stay and chat, but unfortunately I have an appointment scheduled with the doctors after this. Okay. You two will have to excuse me. Are you feeling fine, ma'am? It's nothing... big. Not yet. <laughs> there is a short while in which her hand faintly touches her stomach when she says this. Her smile as she does so, a tender thing in itself. She might never let it cross her mind, but motherhood would suit her. The kid is already loved, even when he or she has yet to have a sense of the world. Candid moments like this, I wish I had brought a camera for. Sorry we had to cut this short. I'd love to have lunch with you two, but... Well, you two know how it goes. It's quite fine, Mrs. Wright. I need to get going as well. Is it somewhere far from here? I can have my driver drop you off on the way. No... No, please. Th there's no need for that, Mrs. Wright. It's just within the city. I see. What about you, Zack? We did leave your push bike at the mansion. Uh, don't worry, I'll have someone bring it to your home later. Nah, I, I live within the city too. A few blocks from here, in fact. I only visited earlier because... The photos. Okay. That's, uh good spot to leave it hopefully uh we're done for the night it's been a long stream thank you guys so much for joining thank you sign for joining i know it's super late for you and you need to get some sleep yeah my mom is already angry oh okay yeah we're done for the night so uh thank you guys bye bye bye